Welcome to the Experimental Aircraft Channel. In this episode, we take a look at the Rotorway A600 helicopter built by John Garabedian, coming up right now. Thank you to our channel sponsors, Wix Aircraft Supply, Aviation Youth Publication, and Aero Adventure Amphibious Seaplanes. And you've got some personal projects in your, your own hangar here, of course. And I do. This uh, is, what is this here? This is a 2012 uh, Rotorway Talon A600. This is actually the current model that they sell. Uh, I found this one as a rollover about two years ago, rebuilt it, and then flown it for about a year. I've got about 75 hours. I've got a little over 500 hours just in roadway helicopters. Wow. I'm a big fan of them. Love them. They do what they're supposed to do. Great for the experimental world. Uh, I was taught in a roadway helicopter and went right through private pilot rotorcraft was the first rating I ever got in a roadway helicopter. So they have their own training program? Uh, there are enough experienced guys out there that will come to you as private trainers. Okay. Uh, Tell me what you did in, uh, to restore this or this, rebuild it? This particular one, as in anything, I believe if you're going to fly it, especially experimental, you should know every nut and bolt. So this was a ground up restoration. I took okay. this down to nothing, powder coated the frame, did every reassembly procedure myself, making sure that all the angles and distances were exactly where they were supposed to be. Rotorway is pretty good at giving you a lot of information and pictures on the detail stuff. And then they leave the fiberglass stuff kind of a little bit on your own. Uh, uh, let me see where we're going. Uh, you know, replace the windscreen and... Uh, yes, I did choose the purple paint. Uh, yeah. They, they they look pretty cool here, but when you're flying around there, they're not very easily seen in the sky. They're, they're pretty small. But uh, so the they, darker the darker the better to be visible in the sky. Well, I just wanted something bright and colorful so that I would get noticed. Sure. And, and that happens with these. Um, they do what they're supposed to. They're uh, a fair weather flying machine. They're not really meant for you know rain and IFR stuff, but they're. They've come a long way. I think that company has just passed their 50th anniversary in sales. So wow. it's one of the companies that's been around for a while. They've got pretty much everything figured out. Uh, this is 150 horsepower, water-cooled, vertical engine. Horse. Yeah, John, tell me about, I, I had no idea. I, I did not realize that Rotorway made their own engine. What, a what lot is of people it exactly? ask, and Rotorway is one of the few that makes their own engine. Uh, they originally started in the 70s with Evinrude engines, found out they weren't enough, and they'd started developing their own engine. And they've come a long way over the years, and they've got all the small stuff figured out. Um, I mean, this is two guys in a full load of fuel. You'll be using most of your power to do a hover, uh, especially on a warm day. Uh, what, what is it? Is it, is it a four-stroke, uh, four-cylinder, horizontally posed, just typical aircraft engine? Water-cooled, air-cooled? It's water-cooled. Water-cooled. Uh, a lot okay. of people think it's a Volkswagen engine, and the, the cylinder heads kind of look like a Volkswagen, but this is their own design. It's vertical, it stands up. Uh, it actually basically runs a set of four main drive belts to run this secondary unit, Okay. and this drives everything. There's a shaft in there that uh, is an overrunning clutch that will unlock in case of an auto uh, rotation. And everything, as long as your blades are turning, you're going to have all your controls. So. And you bought this as a, as a product just to fix and flip type thing, or? Yeah, the intent uh, was to keep this for a long time, um, and I bought a custom trailer for it. And I've been to Florida with it. I've been to Oshkosh with this. Um, I've been around the roadway community for about a decade, and uh, I know all the guys and all the big names. And I think the company's here to stay, and the product does what it's supposed to do. You know, if you're a tinkerer and you like fixing and adjusting and stuff, then they're a good machine. You'll, you'll, there's a road ahead service about every 100 hours, so you'll be in there doing some maintenance about every 100 hours, which for me, a lot of flying was every couple of years. But if you're pretty accurate, you can get, done, get it done in a full day. Excellent. Um, other than that, it's oil changes, 25 hours. Everything's electronic ignition, uh, electronic fuel injection, and uh, electric water pump, and a lot of these products are over-the-shelf uh, automotive products. Now, this starts out as a kit, or can you get like a builder assist? Do they offer similar programs with there the helicopter? There is a guy down in uh, Foley, Alabama that will do a builder assist with you, and there are uh, at least two or three other guys that I know of that will travel and come help you. Okay. Uh, also, the trainers will travel and come and What's the, I know prices change all the time, but what, approximately oh. what kind of cost for a kit? These have gone crazy. These are now 140000 which will scare you. 
Uh, two years ago, they were 110, and two years before that, they were like 95,000. So they've gone crazy lately. Is that, it's, I would assume, complete including engine, or is that just an airframe kit? Oh, no, that's everything. That's okay. everything. Everything okay. except electronics and paint. Right. You won't get a transponder or a radio, but you will get an instrument panel with all your functions. Excellent. You can find more information about this awesome helicopter online at rotorway.com where you can find all the detailed specifications, all the performance data, the overall dimensions, and many photos and video of this great helicopter. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you are new here, I invite you right now to subscribe, hit the like button on this video and the little bell notification for future videos. If you're returning, thank you for continuing to support me and this channel and getting to reach more people to let them know about experimental light sport and ultralight aviation. I invite you right now to go over to wixaircraft.com and check out all the tools they have to be able to scratch build, kit build, or any aircraft that you're interested in. Check out wixaircraft.com for all kinds of tools and many different supplies for your aviation needs. I'll see you in the next episode.